You don't own the song. No, that song is Miss Streisand's as long as she's on this planet. But let me tell you something. When she goes, it's going to be my responsibility to sing it. Do you know how insane you sound? It was completely inappropriate of her to try out without telling me. Hey, roomies. Talking about me? Uh, no, why would you think that? Why did you audition without telling me? Well, because I figured that we were going to fight about it anyway, so we might as well go at it afterwards. That way you don't have a chance to torpedo me. Fanny Bryce is a New York Jew. You playing that role is like me being the Grand Marshal of the Puerto Rican Day Parade. What if you weren't playing Fanny? If you weren't playing the lead and I came home and said that I auditioned to be the understudy, would you still feel so strongly? I'm arguing on principle. This is not personal. Bull crap. Rachel, you have all of this talk about forgiveness for high school, but the reality is that you just love having something over me. I mean, these past couple of months with you in rehearsal and me waiting tables has been such sweet revenge for you. And you just can't stand the idea that I might get mine too. I just got you on the cover of New York Magazine. In the background. You were practically glowing about it. That's because I accomplished something. It had nothing to do with you. No, see, it actually has everything to do with me. Every step that you take in this city is fueled by all of the hate that we gave you. All of that ambition is just you trying to prove us wrong, which is fine, Rachel. I mean, whatever works for you, just don't try to say that it isn't. Okay, wait, wait, just chill for a second, please. Okay, I'll make espresso. You know what? You can't handle it. You can't handle that I have made it, and you are just begging to be my understudy. Okay, you know what? Just admit that even with all of your years of singing lessons and dancing lessons and only child adoration from your gay Broadway dads, that I am just as good as you. Unlike you, I can be popular in high school and still make it big after graduation. Just admit that no matter what you do or how far you go, you will never be able to scratch that itch. You will never be able to look down on me and redeem yourself because I was better than you then and I'm always going to be better than you. You are short, you are awful, and that is never going to change. <laughs> I think you should move out. I agree. This is crazy. We're friends. Not really. Hello? Yeah, good. Okay, well, thank you for letting me know so soon. Bye. I'll see you at rehearsals, Barry. I'm your new understudy.